Scratch that 30 piece, man, for shit show. Nigga, I thank God for real, for real, nigga. Can't be in too much of a rush. These streets really ain't been good to nobody this year. 2019 been a motherfucker. Like, for real, for real. RP to my nigga Guap, man, real spirit. RP to my nigga Ken. RP to my nigga Zoe. Real nigga holiday though, you hear me? November 22nd, you niggas, but I never fucking forget it, man. True behind the damn camera, man, you know what's going on, man. Some real live pilot shit going on right now, fam. Uh, now I done seen niggas do they main man in the worst way. If you wish the chief fall off, you wasted a birthday. Man, I made $20,000 on a perk plate. Look, man, I don't know what two niggas smoking. But all them little ass cigars, bro, you smoking like five backwoods with one of them cigars. Thick ass tobacco. I'm just gonna chill with that shit. If you don't know how to roll, buy you a backwood, bro. <clears throat> shit, simple than a bitch. Shout out to my nigga Ace, man. Nigga put me on that. Let's go. Bro, shit out them hours in the sense. What's the big plans for the B-Day? Going down. Man, we going up. Tonight we at motherfucking Park Ave. Yeah. My crazy ass, you can tell, man, I don't be giving a fuck about the clubs and shit. I thought we was at status tonight. We at Park Ave. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Tam. Oh, man, the business, man, you know what the fuck going on. We gonna go the fuck up, you already know. About 100 deep. Flies, whips, you know what I'm saying? Bad as bitches, you already know. We going the fuck up. I gotta go up here and pick up my chain in a little bit. You know what I mean? Get fly, get a little fight. Shit, nigga finna go the fuck up. I ain't even gonna cap with you, bro. Right now, more than anything, though, you know what I'm saying? With this shit that we doing, it's because I wanna show a nigga, like, nigga follow. When a nigga say follow your dream, like, you gotta, imp you gotta really improvise when a nigga say your dream. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that. You know, you gotta find your way. You can't really be trying to follow behind what another nigga doing or how he doing it, cause that's how niggas get real deal lost, my nigga. And, you know what I'm saying? I would hate to see any of the adolescents my nigga going around rap. I see, I say, nigga, go what's in your heart. Don't be going. Like, I let, hey, bro, what you think I should do? Like, I fuck with you ass another nigga what, what they should do when they ain't even made it where you trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, just stay true. More than anything, nigga, just gotta stay true, bro. And that's why P made so much money, nigga. That true life, nigga, cause ain't nothing iller than that, fam. Nigga, true. Nigga. Reality TV, nigga, you ain't no way you can fake it, my yeah. nigga. Even though it's just another day, you know, a nigga gotta go up, gotta show the difference from a real nigga from a fake nigga, you hear me, man? It's a real nigga holiday right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, where I'm from, shit, it costs to be a fake nigga, man, for real. But it pay to be a real nigga. You feel me? Like, <laughs> so many niggas and hit a nigga up today. Want me to come to their clubs, do my do my B day at they shit, nigga. Free of charge, nigga. Hella bottles, nigga. Man, say, bro. You think they would have came to a four hour nigga, man? Yeah, no. It's life of a pilot. Life of a motherfucking pilot. We going to fuck up. I ain't capping. Y'all the motherfucking deal here, man. On the rush out, gone side, lot me, aka gone side, good guys, man. We out here on the block with the project shit. Y'all know we at. Hey, bro, that's my motherfucking little brother, man. Nigga, old man today. 
Shout out to my nigga Troop behind the motherfucking camera, man. Lock me in business. Y'all know what about me. Hey. I told you it was that poor guy. You talking about that? I said, hey, I said, I asked her, I was like, damn, I ain't got no fly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, damn. Yeah. I told you that you said, I'm going to do that money, man. She was in the hood. I'm going to do that. Look, uh, I said, Freddy, that night. I'll teach you I ain't wanna do shit. What the time hell ain't OT time? Ooh, that hoes alright too. They ain't about to ask when you quit. I swear to God. Hey, Freddy, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nigga flies a pilot. Ride not 20 again, talk while I'm driving. Says a little bitch wanna meet me in private. Reach for the chain and start up a riot. Yeah. Trying to get a check like the major league. Ain't about that action, need little nigga, maybe leave. Killers on deck, little nigga don't play with me. Yeah, with that burner, that bitch gotta stay with me. Yeah, nigga flies a pilot. Ride not 20 again, talk while I'm driving. Says a little bitch wanna meet me in private. Reach for the chain and start up a riot. Yeah. Trying to get a check like the major league. Yeah, so happy birthday. Yeah, so, yeah, so. This shit ain't, this shit ain't with everybody. It was, it was, it was fun, you know what I'm saying? For a nigga like me, I ain't gonna lie to me everything. I fucking know, for real, for real. The dudes and the motherfuckers don't. I mean, I mean, I mean sit back in the gaps. Really want cool to be from my Cliff. Like, shit, everybody can say that it's from my Cliff, you know what I mean? Like, you were moved somewhere else, and nigga like, man, that's a cliff nigga right there. Like, nigga really had the stress for that shit, you know what I mean? It, 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 it damn so, it damn so I ain't really do it today, you know? Like, you know, shit, you know, 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 Illinois, I moved over there by St. James for a little bit, and like my, my pops and nigga, Keys and Pro, shit, that nigga all up and down, live better shit, my whole motherfucking life. Right. So I got to see like the whole, like, got to be around the whole city, I always move in the yeah. So what do you think the future of uh, Oak Cliff City? Like, do you fear for like, the future, you know, or, or do you think it's like, we're getting, everything's getting better? To me, out of all these sections, I ain't gonna care with you. I feel like old Cliff is at a, at a rise, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of good, uh, it's, a, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of investments in the city right now. They building a whole lot of shit. I think more than anything, we need more like uh, recreation centers and shit like that, more uh, environmental, like giving back, you know what I'm saying, to, to the community more than anything. I mean, do you think that'll uh, keep kids out of trouble? Oh, uh, yeah. More than anything, we need more people to um, shit kind of guide them. More big brothers that really kind of been there and done that, and less of niggas that ain't never did that, trying to tell niggas what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. Make a nigga hard. So it's a hundred ways to skin a cat, you know what I'm saying? The time you got. Do you. you know what I mean? Shit up. More than anything, I say, I'll keep going. It's a, a motherfucking million dollar franchise right there, where it's me, you know what I mean? As far as like, uh, with the real estate and shit like that. Okay. What's next for Chico? You got any, uh, you got any new music videos coming up? Oh yeah, we just shot Black Tobe like two days ago. I got that coming out. Then I got a video with, uh, with an artist that I'm fucking with real tough. My nigga band up tight. You just got get up guys for that shit for the come out. Um, I had shot another video. It's kind of, I don't know, I'm dropping that bitch like the next like month. It's already done with Kay Houston. If you see, we were kind of like keeping in the woods. We just now trying to stay consistent at least three a week. Huh? What you do with your discipline? I'm real now, I'm still thinking. Yeah. Shit, uh, you know, I feel like if the nigga had a plan, the nigga had it figured out, then everybody would be millionaires right now. The niggas not, so. Why the fuck would I take advice from any of these motherfuckers out here telling me not to put out so much music and not to stay so consistent, shit? That's the only thing I know right now. Really. That's the only thing that really makes sense, you feel me?
I mean, because the second you slow up, there's somebody who's been working twice as hard that can't wait to lap you up. That and the second that you slow up, a nigga take what you were doing and stress that shit to wrap you all the way up, nigga. Surpass your ass so much, bypass your ass so much for the ass, you know what i Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You think that, the, see, the, the, the crazy thing about this game, you be thinking like a nigga don't even see what you're doing the whole time when you're watching it. Like, I ain't gonna wreck, I ain't gonna congratulate, I ain't gonna say, hey man, you doing good, but they watch the motherfuckers out there, watch. So do, feel, so do you feel like you're in competition with anybody in the city, or are you just doing you? Uh, to me, competition is good. Shit. When I see my niggas going hard, it just make me want to go hard, you feel me? But I'm some, I'm like, hate to a 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 hate to it ain't no competition or nothing, it's just shit. You know, when you get to looking over that fence and worrying about what another nigga doing, that's when you get to know it and shit. I, I always worry, I'll never worry about another nigga pocket. They got them. As soon as you get to try and do what they doing, hey man, you know the end of the uh, 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 sentence, man. Shit just always fail and never prevail, so I try to keep it true to my grind and what I got going on. Versus trying to worry about other niggas and shit. But we got some hot ass shit coming out the city, man, that make you want to, you know, bring your A game. And I feel like that's how it should be. Versus niggas not coming with it and niggas just feel like it's, it's whatever. You come out with bullshit and it'll still go with it. And that ain't how it should be. So how did this, uh, how did like Goonside become to be? What what started Goonside? Like where, you know, where did it all come and like where do you, where do y'all see uh, going as a brand? Shit, that shit, that shit just came from click the nigga that, that really low key used to be at each other neck on our on our on our end on one end and fuck around putting the bullshit to the side and locking in, you know what I'm saying? And from there. Did it, did it take somebody dying for that to happen, or did y'all just, did y'all just do it? You know what, bro, that's a good old point, so I ain't gonna care, cause it, I ain't gonna say it took people to die and shit like that, but we did. But it happens every day, you know? Yeah, 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 we did move a few real true G's that kind of crafted everything that we stand for right now. Like, you know, he looks so right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The list goes on, man. Tubs, man. Brock, man. How it was, man. You know, the real deal, losing Brock, losing Serge and Hiller at a young age, that's when the triangle kind of formed. Because Brock was putting on for the whole, our whole side. He went just in H2, and he was in hollow point two, he piece of point two, he ain't going to lay something out for it. He was our like, like big homie, you know what I'm saying, real yeah. shit. So would you say he kind of like laid the foundation for y'all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Brock was one of the uh, real deal, one of the niggas that laid that foundation for shit show. So. It seems like you've been holding your weight up, you know, out here. Cause I don't see like I mean, there, there's a couple people still repping the gloom side and all that, but it's like you and uh, and Loso are the ones like really going hard on that. Yeah, you know, you, you get out what you put in at the end of the day. You feel me? And some shit you just can't deny. For a nigga like me, I, I can't fake nothing that a nigga do. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I done been one and I done been a hundred deep. Shit. Either or it didn't been the same when it came to me and my nigga, you know, we all hold each other down, but now I can't say we don't be having bumpy days where we at each other neck and mad and yeah, you know. But that you'll never see that shit. You know, we get through it, that's what brotherhood is, you feel me? You know, you know my niggas have been to the most. I used to be like I guess I go so hard for it because I used to be the youngest nigga out of all of them in the club, like 15, 16, really kicking that shit. You know what I'm saying? And so from that, it really kind of blew. Yeah, being the youngest nigga made me, I always had some to pull, you feel me? Um, at like 17, 18, you know, Tony got the deal, and it was like, you know, we had the Triple G shit, but we still had the whole neighborhood to put on. And, you know, the folk bro blew, we already had the going side, you know, it's the triangle, it's the three. But we wasn't just applying this shit like that. And Los was just cool, you know what I'm saying? Bro, damn, they were about to go to the league, and shit just kind of, you know, took a turn, you know what I mean, and rolled back on. We put that shit together, you feel me, and everything just kind of, you know, 
When the shit real, bro, you don't even gotta try too hard. I don't know, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them motherfuckers every day, bro. Nigga got to try too hard or something, it ain't meant to be. Right. Shit that I like, it, it flow. You know a river from a pond quick. Cause a river, if the bitch flow, there's no way in here, you know what I mean? Out to the difference, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, it is what it is. And with Gone Side, we really was, you know, the triangle. Three hoods came together, three points, and right there. So is it still like that till today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still like that today. You know, niggas just getting old and shit. We got a lot of young heads. You know, it's, it's just, some shit looks different. I ain't had a cap. A lot of shit different. I be telling bro sometimes, like, man, you really need to just sit back and put together like a meeting and getting everybody together because just, shit just getting a little bit too big. You know what I'm saying? I say, you know, the gift and the, gift and the curse. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's just kind of getting a little bit too big nowadays, bro. Real spread, like, I be wanting to have shit a little bit more structured than what it is, but I'm blessed more than anything. Because niggas don't even got nothing like that. They've been around as long as I shit been around and love it as much as we love it, you feel me? And I had a lot of niggas just, you know, dying and shit and be true to this shit. You know, for the bacon? You ain't got too many of them uh, snitching stories. My partner told on you. Right. You don't really do that on this end. Like, shit. We know what we signed up for, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit big. It, it's really like fucking overwhelming. You hear know, little niggas screaming and shit and really putting all of this shit. But, you know, we go back to what we were saying about the community and just. Old Cliff as a one. Nigga trying to give back. I try to, you know, leave my niggas in the right way. I can honestly say a nigga that ain't been around me, I'm trying to nigga into, you know, successful young know I men. You know, whether they be streets or whether they be, you know, in a, in a legitimate world or, you know, whatever, you know. Whatever they is, it's true to it. You know? I mean, do you encourage people to get out of the street life or, you, you know, you tell them this is what you're going to do, you got to go hard? Be honest with you, bro. I encourage people to be the best that they can be. You can encourage a nigga to do something that ain't for them, bro, and that'll make a nigga go more crazy than what they is at that, at that state of time. You feel me? I really just tell people to be, you know, the best that they can be, and as true as they can be to their situation. You feel me? And sometimes, most of the time, make niggas succeed. You know what I'm I got a partner. I used to. I'm talking about my dog, man. To tell a nigga like he used to be with me like Fred, like you know like skipping school, like hitting leagues, still a car, young nigga, 16, 17. Like we grow up, we like 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? Trying to you know really figure it out at this time, cause ain't nobody for to take care of you now you grown. Right. And I used to be like, bitch, get on your hustle, bitch, you gotta pay, bitch, come on, let's go, woo woo woo, right? And one day that nigga just told me straight up like Man, it's like, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't wanna hustle, you know what I'm saying? Hustling not me. I don't wanna do it. And I look at it and I'm like, yeah, hustling. Like, what you mean? Yeah. You don't wanna get money? What the fuck? Everybody wanna get money, B. He like, nah, bro. I just wanna chill. And at that point I understood life at a different degree, angle, to the point to where everybody ain't the same, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And um, you know, you gotta let niggas be true for who they are and not for who you want them to be. Right. Yeah. I know like for me growing up in uh, South Dallas and Pleasant Grove, it's not the prettiest place or the easiest place to grow up in. You know? yeah. But I, I can drive by today and still see some of those same people just still in the same position. They they never advanced, they never left the hood, they never, you know. But it's like I made a choice a long time ago. <laughs> You know, that's it. See, the name of the game, bro, is to uh, take what you learn here. You scream and you represent this, this, um, this code of ethics, right? You represent this shit, right? Okay, so what do you represent? You just represent this shit? Just hey, 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 right? Yeah. See, like this, more or less, like I done showed my little homie, you know what I'm saying? Shit that I represent in this code of ethics that I abide by, it's the same shit that got a nigga, you know, 10th, 11th flow downtown. I don't condo, I don't shit. You feel me? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't lane, I don't paper right. right, you feel me? I took this and made that. 
I don't never want this to be portrayed out to be like I took this and this is what this is and this is how this is gonna be. Like glorifying it. Yeah. yeah. Nah. This is like the survival of the fittest, right? Boom, you make it out of this, you can make it anywhere. Right. Cool. Meaning, you know, you get up in that other world, that, you know, that GQ world, you're supposed to apply even more pressure. Right. It's way less lenient than where you come from, you feel what I'm saying? You done been manipulated yeah, in the hood. You done been manipulated. You done been really love you. Done really owe you something now. Owe you shit. Why you in a world where niggas can't do nothing but keep you gangster with you? Cause they owe you that nigga. You in a business with them, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit said it's time and what it is and what it ain't. More than, more than ever, bro. Nigga, gotta take what you get here and put you somewhere else. No doubt. Okay. Okay.